What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sloth Moto. So, this is a 2019 MT09. Uh, I, I bought it about two years ago. I think it only has about 10,000 miles on it. I've absolutely loved it. Uh, it's a little bit dirty, a little bit of bug. It, it, hit, it hit a few bugs on the way here, but still a really clean looking bike. I mean, just look at it. Just <clears throat> it has, It's a three cylinder bike. It makes about 120 ish horsepower. Now I, I did tune it so it it probably makes a little bit more and I got the Austin Racing exhaust which is just if you don't have an exhaust on this bike you need to get one. Um, what else can I say about it? I don't know it's just a really good bike. Uh, real quickly there are a few things I've done to this bike that being uh, obviously it has different mirrors got rid of the stock ones I think they're ugly. Um, it has let's see what else oh turn signals got these guys because again the stock ones are ugly the back has I got rid of the uh, license plate fender the license plate still on there but uh, I got different turn signals for the back what else let's see um I got a quick shifter I don't know how to pronounce it but the I'll put it in the description and and an ori and and whatever quick shifter uh, yeah that that's about it except for the uh austin racing exhaust it's the v3 i i, I don't exactly remember if it's the 200 millimeter or 250 it, it's plenty loud you don't need a shorter exhaust from them um but yeah that that's really all i've done to this bike otherwise it's completely stock if you guys are not subscribed subscribe because at 1000 subscribers which is not that far away when you think about it, it's only a thousand um i will be doing a new bike reveal I, I can't spoil anything about it yet, but it's something that I've always been wanting to do. And yeah, so hit the subscribe button and once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to get a new bike. Oh, one other thing I did do is I, I don't know if you can see it, you can kind of see it. Right in here, this plastic used to be this little hole right there, did not used to exist. I went ahead and cut that out because the guy I got it tuned from, one of his recommendations was if you're looking to get the maximum horsepower and uh put a new air filter on you don't really need to on this bike and he said uh you can improve airflow just by cutting out that little plastic piece because it kind of blocks where the air filter is which again i don't really understand why they would just cover that up to begin with oh you gotta be kidding me you got to be kidding me. you better not tell me this bike just died It died. Bike freaking died. Huh. Well, I guess you guys will get to see me push the bike and try to start it. If not, then uh, trailer time, I guess. Got it! I got it to start. Whew. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I can't believe I got that to start. Oh. Okay, I'm not turning this off ever during this ride. If I turn it off, that's it. Oh, now I'm out of breath. I need. I need to run more. Okay, where, where, where were we? This bike has been through about three stages now through Yamaha. It has, see that'd be 2016 in previous years. It was called the FZ09, which I don't know. I don't know why they decided to switch the name from the uh, 
MT-09 is the original name, and that's what they called it in like uh, Europe, I believe. Yeah, I, I don't know why they called it uh, the FZ-09 in the States. But basically, anyway, so uh, 2016 previous, it was pretty bare bones. There was not, uh, I don't even think there was traction control. It didn't have any modes, it was just bike, like just roll bike. Which for this bike is sketchy, scary and sketchy. Um, and then it got an update, which is this bike. This is 2019, so I think 2016 to 2019 is when it really uh, had a really big update, which helped it because now on this bike I have three different modes: A standard and B. And I have two different. I have three different traction control options. Uh, off, which is no traction control. One, which is a little bit, and you can still pull wheelies, but your back tire won't spin. And two, full traction control. And it's really nice. Uh, there's not really. It, they just have a simple button to do it. So yay Yamaha on that one. They make it super easy to switch back and forth in between them. Now, I don't really think there was much difference. Or any, there, there wasn't a lot of change apart from that. I know they tamed the power a little bit, made it easier to uh, control. It wasn't so rowdy and just, it wasn't just a complete hooligan bike. It still is, but it's not as much of a hooligan bike. And don't get me wrong, this is still like a crackhead bike. It's torquey and it wants to wheelie all the time. But then, so the 2000, no, I think it was 2020, when they switched over to the new style buck or 2021 I don't know I can't remember my brain dies it, it doesn't look great anymore I mean it's still a good bike still the same bike but it has like a praying mantis look to it um on the front it doesn't have those wasp eyes anymore and it just looks weird and the color scheme is a little bit off and I don't like it still the same bike but in the newer models what they did is they added uh, different control like I think they have wheelie control now and um, Sliding control drifting control stuff like that different modes, which really on this bike you need So it's just been kind of a slow progression of getting this bike where it needs to be There's a few things that I'm not so keen about on this bike one of them being just how sketchy it is to ride in first gear now obviously I ride it on a mode so it's kind of my own fault but in first gear it, it's a little jumpy and I'll probably show that later or something but first gear you give it a little bit of throw and it just comes up immediately second thing really is just cosmetic I don't like I didn't like the way the turn signals looked it was eh there's not a lot I don't like about this bike to start off there's just not I mean the seat is okay it's pretty good it, it's it's wider like if you're comparing it to the MT-07 the seats much wider um it's not quite as comfortable it's still pretty comfortable though things I love about it number one the sound listen to those pops Oh, it just warms the heart. Um, I love the sound. I love the power. It's a little jumpy. You kind of have it, it. It's not a beginner bike by all means. You have to tame the beast. It's pretty nimble, low speeds, and yeah, there's not. I, I love everything about it. It gets decent gas mileage. One of the things I'm not that big of a fan on is uh when you're going really fast on this bike like towards top speed the front isn't as stable as it should be for this type of bike it, it's still pretty stable don't get me wrong you're not gonna fall I mean, it's not just gonna turn on you but you do have to be careful if you hit a bump or whatever it's more likely to give you a tank slapper than probably some other bikes but at slow speeds, this bike is amazing. In town, it's great. As regards to the power, it's 
the power is right on that border of practical and impractical it has all the power you'll ever need it but it has a little bit more than you need too for example first gear it first gear only goes 30 miles no I take that back it goes like 50 so it's not too crazy but at the same time you also wheelie instantly so it, it's it's a fine line of great commuting bike but at the same time squid mizzle so it just depends on how you ride it anyone who's just starting to ride this bike this bike will be scary for you it was scary for me but I got used to it pretty quick after about a hundred adrenaline rushes I guess aftermarket parts and mods I would definitely suggest you have for this bike number one exhaust when it first come and now actually the stock exhaust is not bad it's quiet but it's not bad it doesn't sound horrible but the uh, aftermarket exhaust almost any aftermarket exhaust you buy for this bike is just amazing I have the Austin racing on there like I said before um, it's, it's pretty loud but it just opens the bike up so much more it has pops it just mm. uh, another mod you'll probably want you don't need I would suggest a quick shifter with uh, with how this bike is geared really down low having the correct shifter is great because you tend to go through gears a little bit faster if you want wheelie it even makes it even easier add different mirrors I you don't have to that one's personal preference I don't like the other ones they look too weird yeah no that that's really all you need to do to this bike you can do other stuff but you don't need to I would say this bike is primarily for people who want power but they're not real keen on doing 180 but they want something fun they can mess around on pull wheelies do burnouts rip up and down the streets that's who this bike is for is it a trike uh, not trike track is it a track my brain is it a track bike no it, it's not a track bike it, the pegs are too low too wide I've never been on a track but I even just riding it here I can see it's not a race bike can you go could you ride it on the track absolutely but it's not made for it this bike is made for old back roads city roads for ripping around you could commute on this bike it's not really a commuting bike if you want a commuting bike go buy an fc07 or something smaller this bike is for crackheads who don't care about their life and who want to wheelie i would say this bike is mainly for uh people who want who have had a beginner bike they're wanting something with more power they've had at least one bike um, and they're pretty comfortable on it, pretty comfortable with riding a motorcycle. That's who this bike is for. Or even if you are experienced, this bike is for you. Can again, you in trouble? Oh yeah. But it's not like an R1. Listen to these pops. Oh, the music to my ears. Yeah, definitely get exhaust on this bike. You need it. Like I said, it has some get up and go. So for me, after two years, I love this bike. There's a few things I don't like about it. There is nothing I hate about it. I love this bike. You should get one. Yeah, buy one. Once again, I just want to remind you guys as you watch this video, if you enjoyed the content, like, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. Don't share, I don't care. I'm just doing this for fun. But at 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a new, uh, new bike reveal, maybe build. We'll see. I can't let too much slip but 
It is definitely something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, and I finally can do it. So, if you want to see the new bike, hit the subscribe button, like the video, or not, I don't care. If you don't want to see the bike, then you're boring. Too bad.